Richmond and Ted Lasso are in FIFA 23. So today we are taking over them in career mode and making them European champions. We're basically speed running to season 10 of the actual TV show. EA adding Ted Lasso and AFC Richmond into the game this year was so damn cool. And to make it even cooler, a lot of the stars of the show have had their faces scanned. We've got the goat himself, Roy Kent. We've got Sam Obasanya, the reality TV superstar himself, Jamie Tart, and Danny Rojas. And of course, we've got the goat himself, Jason Sudeikis, Ted Lasso scanned into the game. Is that the nicest thing Roy Kent's ever said? You are absolutely kidding yourselves if you think I'm selling Danny Rojas. Our squad numbers are super bleak, so I'm just gonna promote a bunch of these young kids to the team. Not him, but all these guys, just so we can sell some players and not have no players in the team. Finley Potter? This dude looks like an absolute beast. Damn, this is so funny. Jason Sedankus just walking through, or Ted Lasso walking through the foyer. But we've got our first player departure of the rebuild. And it is gonna be Tanaka Roberts, who is off to Arsenal for 12 million pounds. Ugo Babatunde is out of the club, and so is Joe Reynolds. But our first signing as AFC Richmond manager, as Ted Lasso, is gonna be an improvement at the left back role. We have signed Michel Bakker from the Bundesliga. Believe. And we have paid 7.8 million pounds to make it happen, which is an absolute steal. And here we go, lads. This is a massive signing. We need a world class goalkeeper. Damn, even Jamie's out there giving Jordan Pickford a welcome. We've got ourselves a new shot stopper. And we have paid 24.6 million pounds to bring Jordan Pickford to AFC Richmond. We're also going to say goodbye to George Goodman, who is off to Arsenal. There's also not a chance in the world I'm selling Roy K. And that is blocked straight away. I will happily sell Thierry Zorro though. I love how we've taken Pickford from Everton in response. They've gotten a goalkeeper six overall lower. Wheeling and dealing, baby. Like I've said before though, lads, the goal this season is to survive relegation in the Premier League. We're going to sign a now somewhat experienced Premier League defender in Joachim Anderson. The Dutch, no, the Danishman is joining us here from Palace. Got him for 15 million pounds as well, which I think is a great price. Apparently FIFA don't agree. What are you talking about? So after our first transfer window with AFC Richmond, this is how the lads are looking. Just got to believe that we can survive relegation. Currently lads, 70% of you watching the video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're new around here, make sure you Scorpion and kick that button down below. We're trying to hit, yes, 1 million subscribers in FIFA 23, so help us out. Nah, nah, what? Lads, get ready for this. We are fourth in the Premier League on the 1st of January. Here I am thinking we're gonna be in the relegation battle like they are in the TV show, and we are fourth in the Premier League. Can we keep this up? We are gonna be learning out Aussie Kuko though for two years off to sell to Vigo. But I wanna double down on the start of the season we've had. We're gonna sell Colin Hughes to Nice, which leaves us with 32 million pounds approximately to go and sign ourselves a quality midfielder, left midfielder for the starting 11. And here it is, lads, we have charged Armed our way using our Ted Lasso charm to sign Noah Lang from Club Bruges. I don't think I'll ever get sick of seeing Ted Lasso signing players. But we have signed him for a very good price of 26.3 million pounds. The moment of truth, have we qualified for Champions League football? Yes, we have. It is an absolute miracle. We have qualified for the Champions League in season one with AFC Richmond. And clearly there's multiple miracles this season because Tottenham have won a Premier League. Scrolling down the table though, the relegation Sides are going to be Southampton, Brentford, and Bournemouth. West Ham have won the FA Cup. Lads, we won the Carabao Cup with AFC Richmond. What makes it even more ironic is we beat Crystal Palace, who stadium we definitely don't share in the TV show. PSG have won the Champions. I'm so interested to see how we go in the Champions League. Arsenal win the Europa, and Nice have won the Conference League. What a season for Jamie Tart, up to an 86 overall. 
23 goals and 11 assists. Superstar. Starting off the year with a loan. Not the bang we expected, but we've got one of our random regens off to Paris FC. However, a permanent departure now as Jan Maas is off to Eintracht Frankfurt for 9 million pounds. I know we signed a new starting left back from Leverkusen last year in Michel Abaka, but I'm signing another left back from Leverkusen. It is Piero Hincapi. The Ecuadorian will be joining us for 33.1 million pounds. I genuinely don't like this new evaluation screen. I keep getting Fs. It's stupid. Screw it. We got an A. Let's go. I take back everything negative I said, but we have made the massive signing of Gabriel here from Arsenal. 41.9 million pounds. That is, we have progressed so much faster than I initially expected. Not the most insane transfer window by any stretch of the imagination, but we have done what we've needed to do. I'm very interested to see number one, how we're going in the Champions League and number two, how some of these players on the free perform in the first half of the season because some of them might be on the chopping block. Not you though, Roy. Love you, Roy. I don't know how I'm saying this to start off season number two, but here's our Champions League group. Second in our group, if we manage to win the rebuild in season number two with AFC Richmond, I demand a roll on the show. Well, we've got Barcelona in the round of 16. This is going to be tough, but we believe. Currently sitting just outside of a Champions League spot as well on the first of January. He wanted to move out of the club and we're going to give it to him here in January. Emmanuel Winchester off to Nice. And this was the 50-50 call I was thinking about making. Mo Bumbacatch is officially no longer an AFC Richmond player. He is off to Tottenham for 32 and a half mil. Let's go get ourselves a new attacking midfielder. It can't all be dubs though. Dejon Cockburn is walking on a free. You could say that transfer makes my... Nah, I can't say that. Nah, I'm actually so gassed about this. We have got James Madison into the club. He's going to be feeding Jamie Tart. He's going to be feeding him incredible balls all day long. I could not figure out a way to make that not sound sexual. I'm sorry. I did not realize we were sponsored by Nando's. That is sick. But we have paid a phenomenal 39.9 million pounds. Is this going to be an A? I feel like this should be an A. Good squad player. What are you talking about? He's our highest rate. We are D. D. How about you? Hold my D. Nah, you're taking the piss. I know we're not doing a Fulham career mode, but I can't believe Fulham sold Mitrovic. If that day ever happens in real life, I might go crazy. And we are going to use the little bit of budget we had left on transfer deadline day to sign Santiago Rodriguez from SC Mets. A little backup piece, you know? It is so weird to be saying this in season two, but we are a chance to win the rebuild this season. We've got a big challenge though. Barcelona in the round of 16. We are at Nelson Road Stadium for the first leg. Our team is looking really good on paper. Can we cause a massive upset against the Catalonian Giants in the first leg? Rojas! The King is going to give us the lead. And I have just realized that Roy Kent is retiring at the end of the season. So this would be the ultimate fairy tale if we can deliver him a Champions League trophy. Roy Kent's retirement gives us that extra little bit of motivation for the second leg. We're taking on Barcelona at the Camp Nou. Rodriguez comes in because Lang is suspended. We have a 3-2 lead. Can we hold on to it? We lose on penalties. No, Rodriguez, the man that oh, the man that should be on the bench, misses a penalty, and we're eliminated in the round of 16. Roy Kent, I have failed you. There is to be no Champions League football for us next season. We have finished seventh. And then scrolling down the table, West Brom, Preston, and the Blades are all relegated. Man City have won the FA Cup. West Ham have won the Carabao Cup. Inter Milan win the Champions League. Italy on top. I was not expecting that. Hoyek Split have won the Conference League. Fair play. Another massive season from Jamie Tart. 26 goals, 11 assists, and most importantly, he is 89 rated, solidifying himself as one of the world's best strikers. That is, that is incredible. But it is now time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to say goodbye to the legend, the hero, the king himself, Roy Kent. Thank you and goodbye. Priority number one for me this season is to sign a world-class defensive midfielder, a Roy Kent replacement. That is my only goal in this transfer window. Let's make it happen. And there we go, lads. We get 
get our man. It is Dennis Zakaria, the Swiss defensive midfielder, joining us from Juventus. And we're also going to sign a free agent, just a squad member, Gore Manvelian. This man, look at his picture. Those eyes. Those eyes make me want to do crazy things. No, I can't even afford it. That just shows how much we spent on Zakaria. Oh my God, no. Get that signing bonus out of here. There we go. Now he's accepted it. Welcome to the club, Gore. At least we got an A for that one. No! Danny Rojas has broken his tibia and is out for six months. Our campaign is in tatters. We've had a very, very quick and quiet transfer window. I've put Lang up to striker. Potter is going to go to left mid. And then, of course, we've got Rojas injured. That, that hurts. And if I'm being honest, we desperately need to get back to Champions League football from a pure financial status because it's been very hard to make upgrades. And because other teams won other domestic trophies, we are not even in the Conference League despite finishing seventh. We just keep getting hit and hit and hit this season. The job is half done, lads. This is good, though. Only two losses, and we are currently sitting in third. We need to stay here, though, for the remaining 19. Ted Lasso, manager of the month. You love to see it. Let's go. We held our own lads. We're not Premier League champions, but we are back in the Champions League for season number four. And fingers across that we can do so much better. The age old question of who got relegated. Everton finally did it. Everton finally got relegated. We won the FA Cup. Come on, Richmond. Let's go. Sheffield United won the Carabao Cup in the championship. I really hope they didn't get promoted and are going to be playing European football whilst in the second division. PSG versus Real Madrid, nothing different there. AC Milan, I feel like they've been involved in like every Europa League final in this rebuild. And Munchen Gladbach have won the Conference League. Jamie Tart had to do it on his own considering Rojas was out this season, but fair bloody play to Noah Lang. He had a great season. Also, I just noticed Jamie Tart. Is 91 overall. Imagine if he wins the Ballon d'Or. We're going to kick off season number four here with an addition to the defense. It is an absolute bargain. Wait until you see this price. But we have signed Marui, the Moroccan defender from Bayern Munich. If I don't get an A for this, we sign him for 50 million pounds. His valuation is like 56. Give me an A. Give me an A. How is that only a B? That is a steal. We have discovered and signed an absolute stud of a player. This guy is Martin David, 20 years of age, French defender, 85 rated. We have got him at AFC Richmond, and I am very happy about that. That injury last year has hurt Danny Rojas so much. I am determined, determined to make him a superstar once again. And we are waving goodbye to Richard Montler, who is off to Arsenal. He's officially a gunner. And we are saying goodbye to one of the OGs. It is Dixon. Why does it look like he's being escorted out like he committed a crime or he's getting fired? I mean, technically, he's kind of being fired. But we have sold him to Aston Villa for £32 million. Pounds. I got him F for this, but I'm honestly pretty happy with this signing. We've made a backup striker signing in Arnal Kalimundo. 82 rated, still room to grow. I'm excited. It really does feel like we're at a crossroads with this team. We need players like Rojas, Lang, even Madison and Zakaria to grow just that little bit more if we're going to be a Champions League contender. But we are in the Champions League again this season. My goal is to win the Champions League and this is the group we have. Let's go see if we're out of the group stage just for the second time. Top of the group. You love to see it. No surprise, we're headed through with Leipzig. And it is not Barcelona in the round of 16. We have got Celtic. Ange Postacoglu versus Ted Lasso. We are having a stinker of a start to this Premier League season. This is not good. I want to keep the faith with Rojas for this season, but he's making it tough, man. I need you to grow. I need you to bang in goals, my man. We've got to keep the faith with the squad we have right now, lads. The first First game here, it is at Celtic Park in Glasgow, taking on Celtic, of course. Big, big game. Get ourselves some goals on the board, and we are behind despite dominating. Come on. All right, lads, we need to lock in here. We're 2-1 down and in a very vulnerable position. Ted Lasso is surely going to be giving a big team speech, a motivational famous team speech here in the changing rooms, taking on Celtic. 2-1 down. Can we overturn the deficit? No, we can't. We have been absolutely humbled here. And I feel like heads are going to have to roll. We're going to have to make some massive changes. Lads, 
This isn't a fairy tale. We've been sacked. I've failed you guys. I'm actually low-key, like, really cut with myself right now. We have been sacked after being eliminated in the round of 16. Not every rebuild has a happy ending. Ted Lasso, I've let you down.